Welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will learn the routing and uh, how it processes in Magento. Routing is just a path. As a beginner, you need to learn how to do the routing in Magento 2 because it is a part of development. So, this is the basic flow in Magento, how the request made and how it processes. Okay, now let's see that. So, this is the index.php where Magento starts its journey from starting point here. So here you will made one request uh, from the browser that is a HTTP request. Whatever the request you made using HTTP uh, from the browser, it will take that request and process it. It also searches the request what you have made from the HTTP uh, from the available routes.list. So in the routes list, you will find uh, the available class. If that class is not found, it will redirect to 404. So if the class is found, then it will go to that particular request. Then this front controller will dispatch the request to this routing. In the routing, we have uh, different options like front end and admin. Here, there is a one attribute called front name. Based on that front name, this controller class will be made. So this controller will take this uh, front name request and uh, uh, add this controller path. And then it process to the etc where it has some configuration so this is just a basic flow now let's get into the deep so coming to this http so what is a http it's something like a url made from the browser something like this one and coming to the front controller class front controller class will search a class which is able to process a request from the available routers list so this is the example of this uh, routers list class. So in this class, this front controller class will request one class. If that class is not available, then it will redirect to the 404. Otherwise, whatever the request made from the HTTP, so it will take that request. For example, the front controller class will search one of the class available in the router list. So it will take that class and process it. If the class is not found in this routers list, it will go to the 404 or any custom page okay so this is how the request is this one is front name one is controller name and another one is action name okay now let's check the routes so in this section uh, for example we have this uh, website with this url okay customer account login see this front name controller name action name Based on this, uh, the request will be made. So in the routes, uh, you see, this is the example of uh, routes.xml file. This is one of the XML. Uh, based on this, we will uh, create one route, something like uh, this one. Okay. So if you consider this URL, so whatever the customer you are seeing here in the URL, that you need to put it in the front name in the routes.xml. Whatever the account you are seeing in this URL, that uh, that is a controller name okay you need to create one controller path for this and this login is like a action uh, so this action class have some execute methods based on this execute uh, whether you want a page or you want to execute any function so you can do that so in the next video i will discuss about uh, this controller how we can create and uh, what is the result of this controller okay in the next video we will create something like uh, this url okay so not exactly this one this is the default one we can't use it so we can create something like this so this is the example of this controller what exactly it is doing it's just uh, returning one page some empty page okay in the next video we will create uh, one controller one routes.xml and uh, we will create one url something like this thanks for watching